what's going on you guys Mitchell with Mitchell's Lawn Care here and I'm on my way to Louisville Kentucky for the GIE Expo this is day one of my trip uh, the Expo does not start until it's my GPS updating me on where to go so um, want to make sure I don't get lost but anyways Day one of my trip, the road to GIE, super pumped to, to get into Louisville and to see a lot of you smiling faces, friends, supporters, followers, subscribers, whatever. Um, first off, I really want to thank Jobber for sponsoring my trip, making this possible, uh, as well as Cujo Yardware uh, for getting me into the show. I really appreciate that. But anyways, I am on uh, Highway 58 coming through Virginia headed to Louisville so going to hopefully get some footage today and tomorrow day one and two when the actual show starts on Wednesday um, and then uh, footage of the show blah 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 anyways um, so uh, stay tuned still driving I'm on interstate 64 about I don't know 75 ish miles east outside of Louisville so I got about an hour left and I've been driving for six hours non-stop so I'm used to being on the road a lot driving so that really doesn't bother me at all tonight would be the night for uh, the get together at Merle's whiskey kitchen so a little backstory about that is when Tyler Dixon and I first came to GIE in 2017, you know, didn't really know anybody and didn't really know what we were getting ourselves into, we were looking for a place to eat and like most folks out there, you get on Google and you're like, you know, best places to eat near me. So one of the places that came up was Merle's Whiskey Kitchen. So that like, sounds like a pretty cool place, so we looked into it and the, the ads on it, you know, like world's best fried chicken, you know, spirits, all kinds of stuff. So we're like, hey, dude, you know, let's go try it out. So, long story short, we had a really awesome meal. I'm trying to get this camera right. Um, had a great meal, really cool place. And of course, 2018, we're like, hey, let's let's go back. Um, at that time, we had joined the Facebook group road to GIE 2018 at the time and mentioned it in there hey you know if anybody's coming in the night before and would like to because at that time there was the show didn't start on Wednesday it was only a Thursday Friday show so the night before anybody coming in the night before you know want to get together uh, you know we're gonna be at Merle's Whiskey Kitchen so in 2018 you know I don't know like 15 20 folks uh, showed up it was really really cool fast forward to 2019 I created the event on the road to GIE 2019 and I don't know we had 30 or 40 people show up so every year it's it's grown a little bit more and the plan for 2021 of course you know skip over 2020 the plan for 2021 was to reserve a private room at Merle's and Jobber, uh, who's sponsoring my trip this year, was going to um, foot the bill for us to get the room and pay for, for catering and drinks, food and drinks for, for 40 folks. Of course, there'd be you know, more than that show up, hopefully, but you know the first 40 people that showed up would get food and drinks. Um, and within like a couple weeks of going, uh, the Merle, the representative from Merle's called me and said, Hey, you know, unfortunately due to unforeseen circumstances, uh, we're going to have to cancel the event and all of our events for the rest of the year. And I was like, well, that's a bummer. But the plans had already been put in, um, motion that, you know, we were going to come to Merle's. So I just told the guy, Hey, we're going to come to the restaurant anyways so make sure you're prepared and anyways that is tonight from six to nine I know of course when you see this it's not gonna matter but anyways I'm gonna get some footage of that event 
And that's the back story it. So this is the 2017, 18, 19. This is the fourth year for the Merle's Whiskey Kitchen um, night before event. Um, and I would love for it to grow out of this place where we gotta go somewhere else, kind of the party before the party. And it's a, a hats off and pays homage to the GIE rally, which is the party after the party that Naylor Taliaferro, buddy of mine, started with uh, LCR Media and Long Care Rookie that he started, you know, several years ago to where they were just hanging out in a little pizza joint and now it is, you know, blown up into an event where there's, you know, a thousand plus people that show up. Very, very cool. So, looking forward to Merle's Whiskey Kitchen tonight. I just love the joys of traveling when you get stuck in traffic. Don't know what's going on but at least we're moving i guess that's better than sitting at a dead standstill so fingers crossed that we keep on creeping through whatever the issue may be and then uh i don't know i guess i'm 45 minutes out of louisville right now what's going on you guys so just got to louisville unloaded the truck and this is the place that myself kevin frost and blake hawthorne are going to be staying at for the next couple nights so let me take you on inside so this is a really nice Airbnb. This will be the second time I've stayed in the same house. It's a fully renovated, remodeled, older home here in Louisville. I always thought it was really cool, this little arch style doorway right here. But this is the living room. Neat little piece right there on the wall. And a nice little fan right there. Really don't even hang out in here that much. Uh, because you know we're, we're gone so much at the expo and then the events at night so really only here to to sleep shower and get back out so i think 2019 i think i sat on that couch once for a period of a few minutes but anyways carrying on this is the dining room area in here we've got the kitchen very nice and you can hear the hear the floors it is an old house so a little squeaky but it's a four bedroom so Here's bedroom one right here bathroom Bedroom number two and around here We've got the staircase that goes upstairs upstairs is really neat There's a little lounge sitting area right here with a TV washer dryer bathroom right there And then we've got bedroom number three and bedroom number four this is pretty cool the way the ceiling goes right there all right but that's pretty much it guys so that's the uh airbnb here at gie for myself mr fall river and it's his turf uh, last time we stayed here it was dixon and company you grow it i'll mow it i can't remember i think uh casey turner was here he comes and goes so quickly that it's hard to keep tabs on him but anyways oh neat little piece right here on the wall so quick little walk through of the home here in louisville that we're staying at we'll be staying at this week Can you carry a box or that even have Yeah, yeah they're heavy. Yeah. You, I mean, so they're, you need a car. You take the head. Yeah, out but of I mean, oh, that's fine. Gonna gonna but uh, I, I'm going to be a Taurus from three to five. Whatever. Yeah, that's a lot. I'm going to be a Taurus from three to five. Yeah. I'm there five to seven. So if we can. Uh... All right, you guys. So as you saw from that little clip, uh, I just finished breakfast with some friends and at Super Chefs. And that was the crew from the Hype House 2021. Um, and uh, got to sit down and break bread with uh, Blake from BNB, Paul Jamison with the Green Industry Podcast, Naylor with LCR Media and Law Care Rookie, uh, Brian Fullerton with Brian's Lawn Maintenance, Andy Mulder of Mulder Outdoors, The Almonds with Almonds Landscape and the spencers with spencers lawn care so uh, it was really gay, great to to break bread with those this morning and right now i'm headed to the downtown area 
to visit Copper and Kings where the GIE rally is going to be held Thursday evening, which will be tomorrow night. So this is day two of my trip and day one of the GIE. So uh, I'm following Mr. Naylor Taliaferro right now and we're headed over to Copper and Kings. All right, you guys, so I'm here with Naylor Taliaferro. We are at Copper and Kings. Uh, so real quick, tell us who you are. How's it going? Naylor Taliaferro, Lawn Care Rookie, LCR Media. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's who I am, man. <laughs> What's the name of your business, like the, well, your lawn care company? Yeah, my lawn care business is Clean Cut Lawn Care. You know, so if you don't know, the quick backstory: I started my lawn care business about eight years ago, and, and right around the same time, I stumbled upon the infancy of this community of YouTube. There's only a handful of YouTubers like Spencer's Lawn Care, who's still doing it to this day, and a bunch of folks that came and went. Uh, that were just making regular content. When I was just researching stuff for my business, because I went from a homeowner to a full-time contractor, I'm like, I want to do this. I want to get out of retail management. I was doing it for over 15 years. And it was driving me crazy. I was missing my family, working all the time, had young kids, so I just changed it. But I was that homeowner that loved lawns, so I was like, maybe I could do this professionally. But it wasn't as big of a thing, believe it or not, eight years ago as it is now. Like There wasn't a lot of chucks in the trucks driving around. There weren't even that many established companies that weren't big, like massive landscape yeah. companies. There weren't like niche down, you know, just mowing and, and lawn maintenance companies. So so I was doing a lot of research and that's how I stumbled upon the communities. And then I, I quickly started making my own content. Like within the next year, I was like, man, I want to be on YouTube and be a part of this community. And, and no one's talking about what I'm dealing with. I'm a rookie here. I, I'm like making all these crazy mistakes and learning as I go. And I want to share that, maybe help somebody shorten their learning curve so oh, they yeah. don't have to do the same crazy stuff I had to do. And it just kind of snowballed from there and, and it turned into a massive community and that's why we're kind of here at Copper and Kings. Cool. So uh, again, we're at the GIE Expo. Y'all know that by now here in Louisville. And every year there is the GIE Rally. Okay, some of y'all may know that. And it's now blown up to where, you know, there's a thousand plus people that are possibly coming possibly. to this thing on, on Thursday night. Um, so tell us real quick, like where it used to be um, and then tell us why we are here at Copper and Kings. Yeah, so in the very beginning, um, it, it was just at a local pizza place that had indoor and outdoor, but we quickly outgrew that uh, because as the community grew and more people got into the business, more people got on YouTube and the community grew, there was just too many people to fit at, at, a, at a restaurant. So we had to look for an outdoor venue. I started connecting with some, some brands. That was kind of the early stages of our whole community, connecting with brands and doing different uh, videos and, and uh, partnerships and ambassadors. And they were able to help us pay for a bigger venue. So I found the Mega Caverns, Louisville Mega Caverns, which we had done for like, what, three years or something in a row and went from 300 people to 450 people to 600 people in 2019. And they just kept growing with us. They kept opening up more spaces in underground in these caverns. They're like, they're like caves, but a cavern, you have multiple entrances. A cave is one in and out. So that's the difference, a little fun fact there. But so we, we've been doing it there. And then unfortunately with the pandemic and COVID, everything changed. There only could have 10 people there and all that. And things start opening up now, but I just wanted to change directions as much as we like that. I just wanted to try a new venue. I looked at Copper and Kings when I contacted the Louisville Tourism and asked them for some outdoor venues last year in the possibility that we were still gonna get together in the middle of a pandemic, but everything got shut down. The, uh, the GIE postponed till this year, so that's why we didn't do it. But I looked at Copper Kings last year and was like, this is actually a really legit venue just in general. Not as like a, you know, like, um, just like a, not a second choice, you know, like as a backup to the Meg Caverns. I'm like, this is actually a good first run. So here we are at Copper Kings giving it a go and it looks like an awesome venue. I can't wait to check it all out. And uh, I can't wait for everybody to come tomorrow night and have a good time. I know some of the locals, local uh, local people like lawn care guys and girls and some of the vendors, some of the big brands like Skag and, and some of the other companies, they've been here before previous years for like dinner or come to the distillery for drinks or whatever. And they are all like, oh, and they're sponsors for this event. So it's free for everyone to come and eat. And obviously there's no admission fee or anything. You just got to pay for your drinks if you want to get drinks. And there's lots of giveaways and they pay for all that. So, and they're, uh, they said this is a great place. So I'm excited. All right, y'all. So Naylor, appreciate you taking a few minutes and telling us uh, a little bit about you and why the GIE rally is now here at Copper and Kings. I know the first time that I went to your rally was 2017 and I've gone every year since then. And it's a really, really fun time. I know this video is probably gonna post either day of or after. But anyway, um, look, we look forward to seeing you guys there.
All right, y'all, so I'm here with Kevin Frost and Blake Hawthorne, even though today he's going by Matt Jordan. <laughs> but uh, Just ignore that. Yeah, we're here in the expo, and uh, these are two buddies of mine in the industry. Y'all may already know him, them from Fall River, and it's his turf. So what's one thing you guys are hoping to take away from being here the next uh, 48 hours? I mean, the biggest thing that I have always come here for is to meet other people and be able to talk about business. I've been able to learn so much more in my business so quickly by coming here because you're talking to guys that aren't in your direct area. Mm -hmm. So they're more willing to uh, share information with you. Gotcha. Blake? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, kind of ditto to that, but I need a tax write-off, so we're going to be looking for a cool piece of equipment. <laughs> oh, man. I love it. I love it. All right, you guys. So I'm here at the Cujo Yardware booth. And this is one of my favorite boots in the entire expo because I love their shoes, been wearing them for years, and I've been partnered with them almost since pretty much day one. Since day one. So uh, yeah. this is Sean, the owner of Cujo, and I'm going to turn things over to him. He's going to show you some new products that they have for 2021. All right, appreciate it, Mitchell. All right, yeah, we're super pumped. So GIE, we have some new stuff to show everyone. And the yard shoe, everyone loves the yard shoe. It's our core product. We have two new colors. People have been asking for orange for years. We finally did it. So you can see the black with the orange. We got the nice orange on the back here. So this is super, super great. And we're pumped about that. The other one is the desert sand. So, you know, we had this in the X1 boots this past year. People love it. It's a great light color for those hot summer days. Keep your feet nice and cool. But it's got the chocolate brown, the desert sand. Of course, we have some pops of green because that's our, what we do for Cujo here. So both of these come with two sets of laces, either the bright colors or the black or the darker light brown. The other new product are Cujo Jags. Now these are laceless shoes. A lot of people have been asking, they, hey, I don't like tying up laces. So we're launching this. So we have this, this is all a neoprene. So it's really stretchy, it hugs your foot and it's a waterproof material. Um, still same great grip on the bottom, just like all the Cujos have. And then we're doing it in two colors. We got the black and gray and then the gray and the bright blue for people looking for that pop of color. But again, really light, really comfortable and they're gonna keep your feet dry and you slip them right on. Now, since you flew through that, <laughs> were there any additions or updates made to the existing yard shoes? Yeah, we're always looking to improve and we love getting feedback from everybody. So we made a couple new improvements. We added eyelets to the yard shoe um, just to make it more durable, durable and the laces to slide through easier. We also updated the pull tab. Uh, the current older one is this ribbon on the back that's kind of small and we said hey let's let's do this thing right so we did the full suede all the way up and we did a larger for your finger so a couple minor improvements the other thing that we're doing is we're going to a slightly softer insole on all of our shoes and boots um, I mean comfort's so important so this is even going to be softer and more comfortable awesome thanks Sean all right thanks Mitchell So here at the Kentucky Exposition Center with Jonathan, good buddy of mine. So real quick, tell me who you are, where you're from, and one thing that you're hoping to accomplish over the next couple days. Uh, Jonathan LeVan with White Tail Creek Lawns. I'm from the Eastern Shore of Maryland. Um, and just looking forward to networking and looking at all the new equipment that's here. Now, is this your first time at the show? No, I've been here uh, six times. <laughs> six times? Yep. You got me beat. So it's only my fourth time. You know, we all missed last year. Yep. Uh, this is my fourth time. So. Each year, what do you what do you take away from here each year? Like, is it demo on equipment, or is it just talking to people, networking, like you said? Or um, what when you when you go home and you have time to marinate on what happened? Like, what what do you pull from here? Uh, 
um, just being able to look at the equipment, look at um, everything that's going on, um, just the, the industry as a whole, you know, seeing what's coming down the pike, see how things are changing, Yeah. Um, and just meeting new people and learning about the industry. Good I mean, deal, man. That's what it's about. So. so how can people find you on social media? Uh, Whitetail Creek Lawns um, on Instagram and also on Facebook. Good deal. Well, again, this is Jonathan with Whitetail Creek. Well, it's an optional winch there. You can get it hung up here. Uh, we don't do a winch with the 44, just the 60. All right, you guys. So I have stumbled upon the stay bill booth here at GIE, and I've met Bob Cleveland with Stay Bill. And as you can see right here, this is called the Monster Mower. Pretty neat thing. I'm gonna give Bob a few minutes to tell you guys all about this thing. All right, yeah, I'm Bob Cleveland from Locust Grove, Georgia, and I worked at the Snapper Lawnmower Company for 27 years. So while I was there, uh, I worked in engineering, so I, I always raced lawnmowers, and so I decided I wanted to build something different. So I decided to build a Monster Mower. Four-wheel drive, four-wheel steer with independent suspension. It's hydraulic driven, pumps and motors. You go about 25 miles an hour, it really sounds good. It's got a Bridge and Stratton Vanguard V-twin with some neat pipes on it. You know, we like the pipes and we like the wings. You know, the kids like that. And uh, so I built this a long time ago and just love showing it off and have a great time with, with it. It's a real eye catcher. Bob, how are you? All right, you guys, so found John with Stabil and ran into him here at the Caterpillar booth, uh, not the Stabil booth, but anyways, uh, John has been instrumental in my company uh, with this uh, Stabil sponsorship. So I've been using their stuff for years, ever since I was knee high to a grasshopper, okay, which means my, my daddy and my granddaddy used the red stuff the red forever, stuff. that's what it's called. But anyways, this is John, gonna give him a couple seconds to uh, tell you who he is, who he works for, and what you are wanting to accomplish while here at the GIE. Yeah, I'm John with Stable. Uh, I've been with the company about six years now. Um, work when, uh, with our social media team, uh, get some content here at GIE, looking to uh, build relationships with everybody in the lawn and landscape community. So happy to be here and looking forward to meeting everybody. Cool. Well, I'm looking forward to hopefully many more years of working with the company. Regardless, I'm still going to use this stuff because it works. Um, and where can people find Stable on social media? Uh, you can reach out directly to us. Uh, go to stable.com. Um, any questions, shoot us a message, and I can uh, help you out. Cool. Thanks, John. You're welcome. Have a good one. All right, you guys. So I'm here with Jordan with Green Touch and TrailerRacks.com. So we got a new show truck and some new products. I'm going to give it away to you. Show everybody what you got, man. All right, yeah, this is the brand new uh, the Zuzu NPR that we had custom made for us. Uh, the customized wrap with all of our websites, showing some of the products that we make. Uh, the next area is we have uh, an enclosed area that demonstrates uh, how all the racks work on an enclosed trailer. Um, they are universally work on open and enclosed trailers, but this kind of demonstrates how some of them work. And uh, we also have here uh, some of our racks on the open trailer. Uh, the open trailer setup or an Zuzu NPR setup with a flatbed. And this is our newest rack. It's a lot of barricade. This was the most anticipated one this year. Um, this has been asked for a lot. Yes. Yes, this is the most requested rack that we've had over the last two years. And these features are same hat and sign locking mechanism. And it's completely universal, so it'll fit any make and model backpack sprayer from the Milwaukee to the Solos. And, uh, yeah, so... Got a uh, fast track. This is this actually rides. This John Deere Gator actually rides everywhere we go. It never comes off. So the fast track's always on there to comply with DOT. This is our newest rack. This was a request as well. A lockable gas can rack for DP racing cans. Um, also features the same patent design locking mechanism. Very similar to the blower rack. And then, uh, of course, we added these a couple years ago. 
These are fuel cages that hold uh, any DOT approved rectangular gas cans. Very popular. And then here is another new addition is a lockable rack for the D handle shovels, or hand tools for that matter. And this will work on enclosed trailers as well. And for open trailers, you'd need the hand tool rack that we already make to bolt onto the back of it. The TBX100 is the lockable toolbox. Um, this one we have a hard time keeping in stock. It's pretty popular, but that also works on open and enclosed trailers. Well, dude, I think y'all hit it out of the park. The truck looks great. The new products look great. I'm also excited to try out some of these things. Jordan, we appreciate your time, buddy. Thank you. Look who just stumbled into me, or I stumbled into them. We got Scott and Mallory with no long hair. Back from a uh, high point north track in Lackey. Hometown, you know, hometown. So, you yeah, just walked in the door. Just walked in. Just walked in. What is your first impression of just walking in the door? It's overwhelming. It's a lot I can't say it on YouTube, but yeah, you know, yeah. It's our first time. So, yeah. First time being here, it's awesome. It's a lot to take in, but I'm excited. Now, what's one thing that you're trying to accomplish? Mm, I guess we're in, the look, we're in the lookings, in the mood for a new mower at the yeah. beginning of next year. So yeah. kind of what we're doing is touching and feel around everybody just to see what we like on certain ones, what we don't like on certain ones, okay. yep. and so, then just taking it all in. So definitely tomorrow, oh, yeah. go out to the demo area. 100%. I don't know, I'm kind of excited to see the puppies. Oh, but man, the puppies. <laughs> <laughs> Good deal. Well, I can't wait for y'all to experience your show in all its glory. Yeah, we're excited. Good to see y'all. Like, yes, it's, it's good to see you part of home. I know. Away from home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you. Well, you guys, the 2021 GIE is over. My voice is a little hoarse from talking so much. And uh, at this point, if you made it this far in the video, I apologize about the audio quality for many of those interviews. I accidentally hit... Um, a settings button on the back of my microphone on my camera I'm on my iPhone right now but I accidentally hit a decibel settings button and made the microphone much more sensitive than it should have been so the show was a success um, and just uh, happy that it went off without a hitch got to see Many of you guys meet some new faces, make some new friends, had a lot of fun at the GIE rally. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to 2022 already. And now's the time to start planning for it. So we'll catch you guys next time.